Matt and I are certainly enjoying this beautiful canopy of almonds. I'm really excited about the recipes that you brought for us. But on Thanksgiving, I love, I know you love a traditional Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's my favorite holiday. Oh, it, because it's all about the food. It's all about the food <laughs> and giving thanks. Exactly. So it's really, really nice. So this first one, when you came up with this idea, I went, oh, that is brilliant. I love it. Tell everybody what you're doing. So we're going to do some mini turkey meatballs with pesto sauce. I'm going to make pesto, but I've already made some for you to use. Perfect. But I want to show everyone how to do it while you show us how to do these uh, meatballs. Could this be an appetizer That's too? Right, yeah. Or for the kitty table? Yes, you perfect. Know? So it's what really a good idea. All right, you get started. Let us know what you're doing. All right. So I have some dark ground turkey meat here. I like the dark because it has a little more fat, which is going to make them a little oh, juicier. Yeah, and you yeah. definitely need that. You don't want dried out little meatballs because there's nothing worse than little lead balls. Yeah, that's, <laughs> no, there's nothing worse than that. You guys, I'm just getting the pesto ready. I like the little leaves. So I always trim those off first and use them. OK, some egg. Yes, so just lightly beaten. And then here's some breadcrumbs. I'm just going to moisten them up a little bit with some milk. And oh, we're just going to dump those okay. right into this bowl. What I love about it is it's kind of everything gets dumped into one what? bowl. Oh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> so this yeah. is some onion. Then some fresh parsley. So some garlic. I'm Italian. Garlic goes in everything. I got a little for my pesto <laughs> right here, which I'm going to put in next. And then some Parmesan. And my pesto is going to go great with it because I'm using the Parmesan and the garlic. So it's a really good flavor uh, pairing, actually. So I'm doing a creamy pesto, so I'm going to use the Parmesan that we talked about. Now, at home, I break it off just like you see me doing here, because I like the big chunks and I like how it grinds. But you can also get it already um, shredded and cut for you. Okay, what did you a do next? Salt, pepper, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and then you're going to mix it all up. And I have a bowl that we've kind already of done. Okay, great. already done up. While you're making your pesto, I use pine nuts traditionally. I'm sure you do as yes. well. But because we're in an almond orchard and I love almonds, and you know they say if you eat, this is, a, hey, this is good for the holidays. It's folklore now. Uh -huh. But if you eat almonds before you have a few cocktails, they say you don't have a hangover the next morning. I'm going to try that. Oh, so right. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we'll try it tonight after the shoot. Exactly right. So I blanched these and then I peeled them, and I'm going to substitute almonds in this recipe for pine nuts. Would you ever toast those before you put them in? Absolutely, I would toast them. Um, I didn't have time, so I didn't. No. <laughs> but otherwise, I would have. And you know what? It's better for them. Absolutely. But so. yeah, you can use them raw. I was just curious if you like, if you like them toasted. Yeah, no, she well. was giving me a bad time. She's like, look, next time, no. you toast those, OK? Because that doesn't fly. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. No, that's funny. With right. these, what's nice is if you use one of these, it's perfect. just like they all come out perfect. Yes. Roll them up. I like to roll them in the breadcrumbs, which have just I move them. See? I was, like, I was like, where did my breadcrumbs go? I do that to go? my husband all the time. I'm an overhelper. There you go. <laughs> See, but this is, this is typical holiday. I know it is. Where'd so those, like, why'd you move those? Exactly. So you don't have to do this step. It just puts a little golden crust on it, and then we're going to plate these up. While you're plating those up and rolling a few more, I'm going to add extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to bring on the noise. Here we go. Now, you can do two options when you're making your pesto sauce. You can cream it up with traditional cream and yes. butter, which I do. Or you can add a lot more Parmesan cheese. What do you do usually? Um, I'm a big cheese person. So I tend to do that. Now, in California, and I know you're from Chicago, and sometimes mm -hmm. you have great weather it, during things. Hardly <laughs> ever, okay. But I think you could barbecue these, Kat. Or in concept, I'd have frostbite if I barbecued, I think, on Thanksgiving Day. But yes, for those barbecue. lucky people in yes. the warm climates, absolutely. These are going to go into the oven, right. about 400, for about 15 minutes. Oh, that's easy. You know. One more of these guys, and All then right. I think we're ready to go into yeah. the oven. My pesto is done, and it was easy to do. sizzling away. Those look great. It's been nice and golden brown. And I'm just going to go ahead and plate these up. So I love this plate because you can put the dipping sauce on the side. Ah, so if you want to even put dear. some of that in there. Well, this was a quick and easy recipe as we're doing some fun additions to Thanksgiving. We have a stuffing and a cranberry sauce coming up. A good cranberry sauce is always perfect for the holidays. We've got that and a whole lot more coming up. We'll be right back.